Hey everyone, welcome back to WrestlePop. All right guys, on the latest episode of Grill and JR, Jim Ross talked about Jeff Hardy leaving WWE and how he left under not so great circumstances because he had some failed tests that happened. And Jim Ross said that they actually tried to get him help and that basically they said, here, here's your options. We're gonna get you some help. You can go to rehab or we're done with you. And Jeff Hardy said, yeah, I'm not gonna go. So they're like, all right, well, we're gonna let you go then. So let me rephrase that. They said, Jeff Hardy, you can pick the WWE or the true love of your life. And Jeff Hardy said, I'm going with the love of my life. Mm -hmm. And you know what that is, guys? He has a uh, love of uh, substances, yeah. his demons. You know how they say in wrestling, demons. And so it's a really a shame because just think what would have happened. Because Jim Ross says that Vince McMahon had big plans for Jeff Hardy. He was going to make him a huge star, which I agree because Jeff Hardy, man, this guy was... He had the it factor. The guy was just very cool. The ladies loved him. He was a good looking guy and he was just a talented wrestler. And it's really a shame because if you guys don't know the Hardys, I believe they were with the WWE even when they were 15 years old, I think it was, because uh, or 17 or something like that. They were like basically really young guys. Just imagine he started out with the WWE, let's say probably at 17 years old or 18 or whatever it was. And now after all these years, he's been busting his butt Vince McMahon is like, this kid is ready. He's ready to be the next The Rock or Steve Austin, except the guy chose freaking Yeah, it's kind of crazy because Jim Ross said basically he just, he didn't see that he had as big of a problem as he did. And he said that even while they were sitting here having this conversation with him, he could see that he was clearly not in the right headspace and he still just did not see that there was any issue. And he just figured, well, I'm just gonna go over to TNA, no big deal, I'll get a job somewhere else. And of course they gave him a job, but I mean, what does that say about them hiring someone that's clearly messed up as well? And Jim Ross says basically, it kind of sucks to know that he lost all of those years where he could have really been like clawing his way to the top of the company with the push behind him. And he just has all that time that he'll never get back. Yeah, because now he's gonna be one of those wrestlers we wonder about what if what if jeff hardy never did and all that because you know how it is there's a lot of wrestlers we wonder about what if they never passed away or injured or whatever it is and jeff hardy is on that list now here's another thing jim ross said and this one is interesting yeah jim ross said that there was definitely a place although a very regulated place in the industry for or we're gonna have to call it the gas if you guys know what we mean just for the sensors we got to tiptoe around it but basically he said as long as it's done under a doctor's supervision it can really 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 help the guys out because you know they're putting their bodies on the line it helps them recover after all of these bumps that they take and you know they just have a really grueling schedule so it should be totally acceptable you know it's not okay to do it but i mean if you're under a doctor's supervision why not right now we don't know anything about steroids obviously we're not like doctors and look do we uh look like we go to the gym or something no. like that no but it is interesting he said that because i do miss the days when the wrestlers were bigger they just looked more menacing especially the heels and they just look like bad nowadays when you watch wrestling they just look more athletic and skinny and scrawny and things like that they don't look like superheroes so it's interesting that jim ross was advocating for guys basically getting back on the gas uh, maybe one day that kind of stuff will be more normal where we can do that kind of stuff But till then I guess Jim Ross, maybe you should try it see how that goes and let us know All right guys, that's the video if you like what we're doing here and definitely check out our other channel five minute eats And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe